Hello, welcome to St. Andrew's Methuen's celebration of Thanksgiving. It's actually a service of Thanksgiving. It's a celebration of the holiday of Thanksgiving, as well as two other events. One is the Feast of St. Andrew's will be November 30th, and also it is a celebration of the end of the church year. This is actually the last service that takes place in the church during this year because we begin the new church year with Advent. Um, we've often had this program in the church itself where we can't do it live because of the need to distance. Um, we've always had it in the sacristy here and um, we're sorry that that we aren't doing it live, but when we do hope it, do it, we hope that you, you enjoy this and that you maybe will join us in the future. So let's start our service with a, um, a song that we're going to recite because we're not all singers. Now, now thank, thank we all our God, God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things have done in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us, to keep us in his grace and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills in this world in the next. And this service is not a service that exists in the prayer book, but all of the prayers come from the prayer book. Um, and the prayer book has a lot of these in there, so um, you will have hopefully seen that this has been sent out to the members of the parish um, if you don't have a listing, please feel free to join in, or if you do have the listing, please feel free in saying the prayers with us. Thank you. From Psalm 105, O oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. From Thessalonians, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ concerning you. In a collective thanksgiving. Almighty, Almighty and gracious Father, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth in this season and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty for the provisions of our necessities and the relief of all who are in need. To the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The part we're taking from morning prayer is the Ubalate, Psalm 100. Be joyful, Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Following, we will now read the Litany of Thanksgiving, which is again part of our prayer book. Let us give thanks to God our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. 
We, we thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We, we thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Above, Above all, we, we give, give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given, given to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. To, to him, him be praise and glory with, with you, you, O Father, and the Holy, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And now we will continue with the readings. The readings come from the actual celebration of Thanksgiving, there is a, lit a liturgy for that, as well as the liturgy of St. Andrew, November 30th. Almighty God, who gave such grace to your apostle Andrew, that he readily obeyed the call of your son, Jesus Christ, and brought his brother with him, give us who are called by your holy word grace to follow him without delay, and to bring those near to us into his gracious presence, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading, Joel 2.21-27. Do not fear, O soil, be glad and rejoice. For the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The trees bear its fruit, the fig tree and vine give their full yield. O children of Zion, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the later rain as before. The threshing floor shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is no other. And my people shall never again be put to shame. The psalm reading is Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. Oh, no, that was you. And the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another. And one night imparts knowledge to another although they have no words or language. And their voices are not heard. Their sound has gone out into all lands. And their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. 
By them also is your servant enlightened. And in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can tell how often he off offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound, and innocent of a great offense. Let, Let the words of my mouth and, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. The epistle is from the first Timothy. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. For this I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called to them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Instead of a sermon, what we do are reflections and thanksgivings. Um, when we think about Thanksgiving, it probably doesn't hurt that it's so close to the start of the Christmas season because one thing that's important is to think of it, Thanksgiving in terms, your thanks in terms of the Tale of Two, uh, not Tale of Two Cities, uh, the Christmas Carol, where there is a ghost of Christmas past, a ghost of the Christmas present, and a ghost of Christmas future. And really, our thanks rely on all those things. Um, so when we talk about our thanks, we're thankful for things that have been in the past that have brought us to where we are and made us who we are. Uh, we're thankful for the things that we have now, and we're thankful for our hope for the future. So I encourage everyone to speak a little on those ideas. Well, I'll start by saying that uh, I'm thankful for St. Andrew's Church and my family and friends that I have here. I'm thankful for my family at home, my children, my grandchildren, my good health, and all the blessings that have been given to me in my life. I'm very grateful. Um, I, I would like to add for myself, um, all, I, I agree with Patty and all of those things, um, but I'm also uh, very thankful for my community um, and um, I, I have found a, a, a wonderful home here in Methuen uh, for the last um, several decades, uh, I guess, and um, uh, and that's been very important to me. And I I, I find I, I was fortunate enough to found, find work in my life that I find fulfilling, um, and that I, I feel um, uh, helps my community uh, grow and be a better place. So uh, that certainly is, I'm, I'm very thankful for my community and for my work. Man, you guys are taking all of my, <laughs> all of my thoughts. Um, 
I am thankful for my family, for my daughters, their husbands, and for the children that they have brought me, my grandchildren, um, four of them now. <laughs> and I'm thankful that we will all be together around my table um, for Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for the experiences over the last two years. Despite COVID, these have been some of the most intense, rewarding times of my life. And part of that has been having a vestry here at St. Andrews and a friend in Krista who knows what it's like to be senior warden. <laughs> but the vestry here has inspired me and they have just warmed my heart and given me such hope for the future and for all of the people in our community with whom we hope to be touched and touching. And when we talk about the church, we have to be thankful for our parents and all those who have been teachers or mentors to us in the past that made us want to continue in the religion. Um, we are so grateful to them and to the people. We did not build this church, none of us here. This church was built and maintained by people who kept it going for a long time. Not just this church, but our religion, that they kept it going through very hard times. Um, so our easy times made a little bit harder, quite a bit harder by COVID. You know, we have to keep it going for the future, to have hope for the future, to be grateful for the things that we have now, but also grateful for the things that we will have in the future and work to make it happen. Anything else, anybody? Okay. No? So now we're going to continue with our prayers. Um, canticle 12 is a can the canticle of the song of creation, the earth and its creatures, which we are grateful for. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise, Praise him, him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas, and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds. Men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. And we'll follow with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will follow with the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And we'll continue with the Collects for Peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. 
Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies. That we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Grant, O God, that your holy and living, giving spirit, life giving spirit, may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land. That barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease. That our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh. And, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And this was a prayer that I, wasn't in our earlier services, but I found in the prayer book. There are a lot of good thanksgivings that um, are appropriate to individual circumstances. We're only doing the general ones, but this is a special one. A litany of thanksgiving for a church. Let us thank God whom we worship here in the beauty of holiness. Eternal God, the heaven of heavens cannot contain you, much less the walls of temples made with hands. Graciously receive our thanks for this place and accept the work of our hands offered to your honor and glory. For the church universal, of which these visible buildings are only the symbol, we thank you, Lord. Say the thanks. For your presence, whenever two or three have gathered together in your name, we, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For this place where we may be still and know that you are God, we, we thank, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For making us your children by adoption and grace and refreshing uh, us day by day with the bread of life, we, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For the knowledge of your will and the grace to perform it. We, we thank you, Lord, for the fulfilling of our desires and petitions as you see best for us. We thank, we thank you, Lord, for the pardon of our sins, which restores us to the company of your faithful people. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord, for the blessing of our vows and the crowning of our years with your goodness. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord, for the faith of those who have gone before us and for our encouragement by their perseverance. We, we thank you, Lord. For the fellowship of St. Andrew and all your saints. We, we thank you, Lord. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For, for everything, everything in, in heaven and, and on earth, earth is yours. Yours, yours O oh Lord, is the kingdom, and, and you are exalted as head over all. Amen. Amen. And we'll follow with the general thanksgiving. You, know, you might be wondering why there are so many thanksgivings. And we kind of combined them all. And um, it's great to give thanks. And uh, we hope that you feel the, 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 the thanks too. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. As I said at the beginning, we usually have done this in the past in the, the choir stalls, so that's why we're at the choir. And I have to express my thanks for the people that joined today. Um, I, they made it wonderful for me, and I hope they made it wonderful for you. Um, one of the things that's important to remember is that Thanksgiving doesn't stop with the, the, this weekend. Um, Thanksgiving is something that goes through, giving thanks is something that goes through your whole life, through the whole year. Um, it, it's appropriate that it occurs just before the start of Advent and the Christmas season because what we are thankful for in our religion is that God so loved the world that he sent his only son. And we celebrate that birth on Christmas Day and the, that gift to us on Christmas Day for which we are truly thankful. So um, I encourage everyone to approach Christmas with that in mind. Remember that that is what the spirit of Christmas is. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All, all praise, praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and him who reigns, and with them in highest heaven, eternal triune God, who earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. May you have something to be thankful for every day. God bless you. Amen. Amen.